Welcome to DOS Geek. So today I wanted to discuss this cybersecurity threat that really caught my attention this week. And that's because of a couple of things. Number one, the tool that is hitting the headlines is KeePass. And for anybody who utilizes password managers, whether that be KeePass, Bitwarden, or one of the others out there, this is where you keep all of your passwords protected, generally under a master password and generally under multi-factor authentication. Well, let me put it this way. You better have multi-factor authentication if you're using a password manager. The good part of this is these password managers can help create very complex passwords. You can create different passwords for every site and it's easy to have one place to go to get your passwords and to be able to put them into the tools that you need. And it's really a huge protection. The bad side is that if this one password manager gets breached, well, they have access to everything, which is why you have to have really good security on your password manager. Now, a lot of people don't want to utilize a password manager that's based in the cloud. They either want to self-host one, and that's where things like KeePass comes in. And when I say self-host, they either just have it locally on a machine or they put it out there on a server that they own that they can access and they feel that may give them additional protection. Although, depending on your ability to set up a server correctly, may not. But either way, KeePass is one of the ones, generally, if somebody says they're using KeePass, they're looking at kind of an additional layer of security above and beyond even a cloud-based password manager could provide. So imagine my surprise when I see that this headline says that KeePass has been hacked. But the headline, like usual, is a little bit clickbaity, but it also, there's a lot of lessons in here. So that's what we're going to unfold in this is talk about really the impact of this particular hack and why you need to be really careful whether you're utilizing KeePass, Bitwarden, or some other password manager. And if you're not using a password manager, you, know, you still got to be careful because you've got to have really complex passwords and a really good memory or somewhere you're storing them. By the way, if you have a special way that you do your passwords or manage them, kind of your secret sauce of how you keep things protected, leave it down in the comments below. Let's dive into what happened here with KeePass. So as you can see here, it says hackers weaponize KeePass password manager to deliver malware and steal passwords. This looks really bad based on the headline. When we get into this some more, it's still bad, but not quite as bad as they're leading to. So basically threat actors have targeted KeePass to distribute malware and get sensitive credentials, but they're not doing that through the official KeePass app itself. They're essentially creating or distributing trojanized versions of KeePass through compromised download links like phishing emails, malicious advertisements. I've seen this before, even on popular search engines where some of the first uh, top results that you're getting are actually sites that are not from the official company themselves. And obviously an open source project like KeePass, they're not going to be paying for you know top search engine placement. They should get it when you type in KeePass because they are the most relevant result, but that's not how things always work. Sometimes that's filled with advertisements or other things that kind of get ahead of those and, and almost mimic themselves as being the official key pass place to download. So these versions appear identical to the legitimate software, but contain hidden malware components. And then once you install that, you have this app that looks like you're using KeePass Password Manager. It functions like KeePass Password Manager, but it's actually executing malicious code in the background, and it's able to go in there and extract browser save passwords, authentication cookies, cryptocurrency wallet credentials from infected systems. And so this is a very sophisticated supply chain attack, and it's exploiting users' trust in security tools like password managers out there. They're thinking, hey, I saw this video, they recommended KeePass, which is a fantastic password manager, and you know they're looking for the first result. Or maybe they've been thinking about KeePass and they get that email that says download it here, you know, or a link from someone that says download it here, and that's what kind of causes this issue here. So one of the key things to keep in mind is never ever click malicious links, period especially don't click malicious links is about what I was about to say. That's kind of obvious. Don't click links because they're probably malicious. That's what I meant to say. Anytime they come to you in an email or text or anything else, 
if you think the site uh, is a legitimate email, then just type it manually in your browser because these phishing campaigns, especially with AI, are getting way more sophisticated. So what makes this attack particularly heinous is number one, it's targeting an open source project. And number two, it's really targeting something people tend to trust. You're getting a password manager and they're making it look as legitimate as possible. And they're able to probably do that because KeePass is open source. So they're able to make it look nearly exact, if not exactly the same, but put some malicious code in there. The good thing is, you know, when you have things like repositories and Linux and stuff, they're not able to easily go in there and mess with a package that's in a, a repository for your distro. So if you're installing things to the terminal or your software manager, you are uh, nearly 100% safe, but you should always validate and check things. But if you go out into a website to download things, uh, for instance, if you're trying to do key pass for Windows and stuff where a lot of your software is based on downloading links from random websites, this is where the danger comes in. Of course, clicking those links themselves. So. This is interesting because I think we're going to see a lot more attacks like this where they can almost utilize open source against itself. I'm a huge proponent of open source. I believe in it uh, with all my heart and soul. So I hate seeing this type of thing, but it's something we're going to have to contend with in the community. What's interesting, though, is I don't think they're going to get Linux users with this. I think they're mostly going to get Windows users looking for open source tools just, again, because of the links, the phishing emails and those things. Most people... In Linux, are just going to get that app from their software store or repository within their distro itself. So, you know, one thing you want to always do is verify your software source is where you're downloading from. No, there's a lot of places out there that are mimicking real companies' websites, whether it's virus scanners, password managers, other things, and trying to trick you to download their product, which may be malicious. Uh, number two, as always, when you have this particular situation went fixed, but always keep your software updated and patched so that it's protected against the latest breaches and incidents. Um, you know, be wary of these phishing attempts that are out there. They're getting more sophisticated with more accurate English and information or whatever your native language is that because of AI, it doesn't, it's not so easy to spot them as it was before. Um, and, you know, really do your research if you're going to pick a password manager on the one that has the best security uh, and the multi-factor authentication for you and make sure you protect it with a really powerful password and something like a YubiKey or something physical that you have to utilize to get into it. That way, even if your password got compromised, they don't have that physical access to that key and your data is safe. And then, of course, always making sure to keep your stuff uh, backed up. You know, it's a stark reminder of a ever evolving landscape that we're in now. I've talked about cybersecurity threats uh, on the podcast Destination Linux are only going to get worse. If you're in cybersecurity, you're in the right field. I personally believe right now because AI is introducing all kinds of new threats we're going to have to deal with where someone could take the audio of my voice right now, recreate a video of me saying, hey, click this link below and you're going to get a really super safe password manager and make a YouTube video and everything look legit. And I've seen them actually do this recently with Elon Musk and a fake Bitcoin on a live YouTube channel where he was there and it looked very realistic and was talking about, hey, send me uh, this much Bitcoin, uh, you know, bits, and I'll send you a whole Bitcoin back. And there were people in the chat and it, you know, it got taken down. But the point is that they're able to do these very sophisticated things where it makes it look like people were actually there and talking that you may trust that aren't actually there. So very interesting. Again, the headlines for this one really caught my attention because I thought KeePass, that's a very, very secure and great password manager. Definitely one that I would trust. That doesn't mean, again, you don't use strong password, multi-factor authentication, but obviously this is a little bit of a slight take. It's not KeePass's fault. This is somebody doing something malicious to pose as them. So be careful out there. Thank you for all of your love and support. Even though I haven't been making videos as much as I want, I'm going to try to get more out to you all. And until next time, get out there and fill your brains. Oh, by the way, I'm going to be at Red Hat Summit. So if you're going to be at Red Hat Summit, come say hi. Can't wait to see you all there if you get a chance to go. Now, until next time, get out there and fill your brains. Mm -hmm.